after watching that Gold Coast game, oh, gee, this, that was probably one of the worst performances I've actually seen from this club. Just Reshaw sitting there at the end of the game, just staring into the space. You can just see he is perplexed. It looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, just have a look at the game plan. Under Brad Scott, people were constantly complaining about his game plan, how it's always exactly the same. And yet, when Reshaw took over, he is the, he's the next big thing. This year, started off with the same game plan. The very same game plan. Hasn't changed yet. Well, why hasn't it changed? It didn't work under Brad Scott. And it's not working right now. Why keep kicking it to the boundary line? Kicking it along the boundary line. Playing along the boundary line. Stop playing. I don't understand why you're playing safe football when the season's over. You've got half a team there. And that, yes, okay, you want to teach them structure. You want to teach them to play a certain way. But how come you wanted to play the same way that didn't work before? It didn't work under Brad Scott. Why continue doing that same game plan? I don't understand. There's people saying there's no plan B. Yeah, how can, I don't get why some players are played in different spots. Manchak Dorr, for example. Why is he playing forward? I don't get it. He played his best football in defence, so why chuck him forward? Yeah, okay, we've got Mackay who needs to actually learn... Uh, get some games under his belt playing in defence. Josh Walker has proven that he can play defence, even though at times I think someone needs to give him another serve for Reckman because he tends to just space out and just lose focus. It's He can drive me up the wall, that guy, at times. But why don't you let... Since he knows how to play defence and knows how to play forward, why don't we just put him forward for the rest of the year and let... And if you're going to play... Especially if you're going to play door, let... Walker play forward and put Dahl back in defence where we all know he can play. He played his best footy there. He would get more urgency to actually get the ball, go in for the contest. When he's playing forward, he has to mark it. When he plays in defence, he just needs to punch it. That's it. He just needs to get the ball away from his opponent. In the forward line, he needs to actually grab it. Um, please, put him in defence for the rest of the year. Pretty please. Oh, I don't understand this Jared Pollock one. Like, he's on so much money. Why is he playing in the reserves? Why does Reshaw want him to be one of those players that crashes into packs? He's not that player. Not everyone can be Cam Zerha. Norse disposal going forward tonight, especially going by the stats, said 27% efficiency inside 50 yeah, practically we haven't got anyone who can kick. Pollock can kick. He can drill it in there. Why not bring him in for that? You know he's not an inside player. He's an outside midfielder. Let him play outside mid. Let him stay on the wing. Don't play. Don't tell him he needs to start tagging people. He's, he's not that sort of player. Oh, gee, it's like having... It would be like back in the day telling Buckley that he need, telling Nathan Buckley he needs to be at the bottom of the pack. When that wasn't his strength. His strength was d kicking the ball, which is Pollux. Huh, I don't get it. Oh, boy, this is just, it's just a horrible, horrible game, that one. Oh, damn. What was the other thing I was going to say there beforehand? And, oh, my brain's gone. Yeah, I've literally lost all thought. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this, is, this is embarrassing. Oh... I saw someone online say Nick Larkey should be maybe traded after tonight's game. I don't get it. He had one, go he had one bad uh, game. Just one. He's the future of the club. Yeah, he had one bad day. doesn't matter. But as I, was, as I think I said earlier, players seem disinterested to be out there, especially the ones who are playing for their careers. Marley Williams playing for his career. Didn't look that interested. Mason Wood, we all know that he is playing for his career. Outside of his couple of good grabs, what did he do? He, I'm still, I still don't understand the hype for Lockie Hosey. Just like Wood, he took a couple of good grabs and that was it. I don't understand what the obsession with him is. I, yeah. he, he's got the rest of the year for me to for 
like to prove himself. <clears throat> Goldstein probably, uh, you can't expect him to dominate every week. He gets that pass. Higgins, I don't know what's happened with him. I think I've actually said that before. Who else was actually on that list? Oh, Jerry. I really have lost. Well, <laughs> see what this game has done? It's made, this is the first game in so, I don't remember an actual football game where I've had a drink. This game was the first time in I don't know how long that I needed to have a drink. It was that bad. <sighs> Rant over.